back roll to stand on rings. If you're a gymnastics skill seeker looking to unlock the back roll on gymnastics rings, you might like to give this exercise a try. The back roll to stand allows us to practice the kipping action required for the back roll without the need to catch it. Over time, as the technique improves, you'll build the confidence to unlock the full back roll. Here's how it works. Set the rings to roughly shoulder height. Stand with your feet together directly under the rings. Grip the rings with a false grip. Using athletic tape on the wrists improves false grip strength and decreases the chance of the skin tearing. Contract the quads to lock the knees and keep the legs straight. Having straight legs will increase the momentum in the kip, so you don't want to bend your knees. Actively pull down on the rings by contracting the biceps and back muscles. You need to press down into the rings before you lift the feet off the floor. Next, lift the feet off the floor and move into an L-sit shape as you lean the shoulders back. You're not performing an L-sit chin up here. You're leaning the torso back as you lift the legs up and move into more of a bent arm pike front lever position. The torso is parallel to the floor and the legs are perpendicular to the floor. The next part is the crucial part. The goal is to extend the hips and pull with the arms simultaneously to generate enough force to move the shoulders up and over the rings. This kipping action should occur as the feet pass between the straps. By the time you've extended the hips, the legs are at a 45 degree angle away from the rings. This generates an upward and slightly backwards force. Pulling with the arms while maintaining the false grip will assist in moving from below the rings to above the rings. It's sort of like a pelican push-up on the rings. Remember, the goal isn't to catch the back roll in this exercise. Allow the feet to come down and land on the floor as you bring the rings in front of the body. This is the kip to stand. If your kip lacks power, the rings will move out to the side so you can transition the body between the rings. This often indicates that you didn't get the shoulders above the rings. You need more power, and that might just be a question of timing. Practicing the kip to stand will allow you to work on the timing of the kip and the pull, so you'll be able to kip higher and keep the rings closer by your sides. When this happens, you'll feel ready to catch the back roll at the bottom of the ring dip position. The kip to stand is best performed as a single rep as we're practicing a skill. You can do multiple reps in a set, but take a small rest between each rep and think about the technique and the timing of the kip. A lot is happening in a very short space of time and it's not an easy movement to master. Give it a try and see how you go. If you've got questions, please leave them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.